So those are the rubbers for the uh, conical motor mount. That's how, that's how that goes in. One on each side of the motor. Okay, that's gonna be her. If anything, when we pull that up, we should have both three threads. The cross pattern we're gonna tighten. We've tightened this one already. And we're gonna go to a bottom corner and we're just snugging that one up also. So we're just being real careful not to turn that nut as we tighten our bolt up so we don't damage that too. The reason this is an issue is these four cylinder engines, the two cylinders are offset to each other. Normal standards on a half inch bolt calls from anywhere from 40 to 57 foot pounds of torque. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at 40 pounds going around on all four bolts and then we're going to look at our rubbers and we're going to start to increase our torque value from there until we see the slightest distortion in the rubber mounts and that's where we're going to stop. Right, what do you think? Okay. Okay. All good. Now our motor mount is on the motor which means those four connection points are going to get lifted up and they're going to go right on to these four connection points, which are these things right here. This is your swing out mount. These holes in the top, a bolt will drop down. It can swing out if you want to. If you look at the side of your airplane parallel to a vertical line here, the tail of this aircraft is just down a ways. So what we're going to do, we're going to lift the tail up so that these engine mount lugs are horizontally straight. When you go to fit your engine to those lugs, if your engine's perfectly horizontal uh, level, that engine should just slide right up, drop some locating pins in, uh, just a center punch device, and then we're going to start putting all our bolts in place. Okay, we've got the tail up on the jack here. If you don't have a jack like this, some saw horses or a table or anything will work. Make sure the wheels got some chocks on it. And now you'll see that the firewall is fairly square with the floor. It's off a little bit, but it's pretty close. Okay, we've got our engine raised up, ready for the installation. Uh, firewall should be vertical. Depends on your motor mount angle and your firewall angle. You want to keep those two parallel. We're going to bring the engine back. But before we do, these four lugs that we've installed here, in the four locations, we tighten the bolt up, uh, we bring it up snug inside the aircraft behind the firewall, the uh, AM6 nut, plastic lock nut, but we're leaving a little bit here for the uh, our final bolts to be installed through the engine mount that we can float, these four engine mount lugs will float so we can turn them. Okay. You can see we have the motor mount just pinned in place on the firewall right now. Just to get everything centered up. Now we can go ahead and pull each pin out and replace it with the proper bolt. And once this bolt is in place here and tightened up, then this through bolt that goes through the firewall, we're going to come around to the back side. And we got some wire in the way, but you can see it's that bolt right in there. Um, that one right over there. Those are the ones we're going to tighten up. We've got four of them. And we've got this guy down here. So after the engine is attached to the firewall, then we're going to tighten these up last. Brass? Yeah, got a brass punch on there. That way we're not marring up the head of the bolt. Perfect. Yeah. You see we got nothing but threads hanging at the bottom. We're still going to put a washer in there. And then our self-locking nut. Okay, 
Okay, we're going to go around, we're going to get all of our bolts in, and then we'll come back afterwards and tighten them all up. There we go. That's got her. I pushed that one too far out. school torque wrench. Perfect. Okay, so the engine is safely on the airplane. We're now going to get the engine hoist out of the way. And we can uh, probably leave the tail of the airplane up in the air, which brings the engine down lower so it's easier for us to work on. And then we're going to go ahead and start positioning the nose bolt. 